Hello everyone, welcome to my channel 365 Blend Bytes. Today, we're diving into something super exciting. To make your PowerPoint slides come alive with stunning animations to showcase your project status. And here are the glimpses of the final presentation. Showing what it will look like once we go through the tutorial together. So, if you're ready to take your PowerPoint skills to the next level and make your project status updates unforgettable, stick around. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let's get started. Open the PowerPoint application. Go to the Design tab and choose Format Background. In Solid Fill, go to the drop down menu and select Background White with 15 darker percentage or you can use the background color of your choice. Now click on text box and add the title as project status. Go to the home tab, use the good text font, like I used Aptos Black in this case. Choose a text color that enhances visual appeal. Additionally, resize the text box and adjust the font size to make it best fit within the slide. Click on other text box and delete it. Now, go to the insert tab. Select shapes and choose rectangle with top corners rounded. Draw the shape on the slide and set the dimensions to 5 inches in height and 3 inches in width from size option under shape format tab. Use the rotate option to flip it vertically or manually adjust its orientation. Go to shape fill and choose white background with 5% darker. Remove the outline by selecting no outline. Now again go to Shapes option under Insert tab and pick an oval shape. Position the pointer at the top center of the rectangle. Hold Ctrl plus Shift while drawing to maintain proportions. Select both shapes. In the Shape Format tab, select Merge Shapes and choose Subtract. Go to Shape Effects and select Preset and click on Preset 4. Again go to the Insert tab. Select Shapes and choose Horizontal Scroll. Draw it on the slide. Click on Rectangle Shape. Then choose Format Painter from the Home tab and apply the same formatting to the Horizontal Scroll shape. Go to Shape Fill option under Shape Format tab and choose Dark Red Color. Drag the shape to align with the rectangle shape. Right-click the shape and select Center Back. Go to Insert tab and insert a text box. Type the first shape title as Scope and set the font to Aptos Black. Adjust the font size as needed. Also set text color to white. Click on Text Box. Hold Ctrl plus Shift. Drag the text box downwards to duplicate the text box. Change the text from Scope to Letter S. Increase the size and adjust it to fit properly. Insert text box again from insert option and draw it on the first rectangle shape. Type the subtitle as project boundaries. Adjust the size to make it best fit. Set the font color to dark red to match the theme. Click on this text box again. Hold Ctrl plus Shift and drag the text box downwards to duplicate the text box. Edit the text to represent the project scope and tasks. Use Align Left option in Paragraph under Home tab. Click on the Bullets option and choose Checkmark Bullets. Adjust the text color to differentiate it from other texts by using Low Contrast. You can use Custom Colors by selecting the More Colors option under Font Color. Select the Icons option under the Insert tab if suitable icons are available. In this case I use Customized Icons by choosing Pictures option which are ready on my desktop. Chose the path and click on the customized icon. Drag the icon to fit into the rectangle shape of first constraint. Keep the icon highlighted and go to Picture Format tab and click on Picture Effects. Then choose the bevel option and click on Round Convex to enhance the icon's appearance. Select the horizontal scroll shape along with the two text boxes labeled Scope and Letter S. Press Ctrl G to group them together. Right-click on Horizontal Scroll Shape and choose Send to Back. Now select two text boxes containing Subtitle and Scope Brief. Again press Ctrl-G to group them together. 
Select first rectangle shape. Go to the Animations tab. Click Add Animation. And select Float In. Now go to Timing option. And set the duration to 50 seconds. Select Horizontal Scroll Shape. Go to the Animations tab. Click Add Animation. And select Float In again. Now go to Timing option. And set the duration to 50 seconds. And the delay to 25 seconds. Ensuring the animation starts after previous. Now select icon and go to the Animations tab. Click Add Animation. And select Shape. Ensuring the animation starts with previous. Go to Timing option again. And set the duration to 50 seconds and the delay to 25 seconds. Now select two text boxes containing subtitle and scope brief. Go to the Animations tab click Add Animation and select Grow and Turn. Ensure the animation starts with previous. Choose timing option. And set the duration to 50 seconds and the delay to 25 seconds. Let's view the first constraint in full screen mode. Looking cool as expected. Highlight the entire shapes along with text box. Hold Ctrl plus Shift and drag the text box towards right to duplicate. Repeat the same process to duplicate it a few more times. Here's a useful tip to modify the animation in duplicated shapes. Click on the animation pane. As you can see from the right side in animation pane and on the shapes as well, we have animation numbering 1, 2, 3 and 4. To achieve a seamless and engaging animation for all duplicated shapes. Readjust the animation by selecting any box numbered 2. Go to animation start and select start after previous. Notice how the number 2 changes to 1, ensuring smooth transitions. Additionally, the other two constraint numbers will change to 2 and 3 instead of 3 and 4. Repeat the same steps to ensure that all four constraints are set to animation pane number 1. Select all the shapes. And resize them to fit within the slide. Select the horizontal scroll shape. And rotate it for our desired look. Select the second horizontal scroll shape. Access the Shape Format tab and click on Edit Shape and choose Change Shape. Then, select the flowchart document shape. Use the Rotate option in Shape Format to select Flip Vertical. Go to Shape Fill option and choose the color Dark Teal Custom Color. Or the color of your choice. Hit OK. Now select the third horizontal scroll shape. Access the Shape Format tab again and click on Edit Shape and choose Flowchart Document Shape. Use the Rotate option in Shape Format to select Flip Vertical. Additionally, rotate the shape from right to left to enhance its appearance. Go to Shape Fill option again and choose the color purple. Select the fourth horizontal scroll shape. Go to Shape Fill option again and choose the color dark green 50%. Change the title of the second constraint from Scope to Budget and update the letter from S to B. Modify the subtitle from Project Boundaries to Monitor and Manage. Change the subtitle color to dark teal to match the theme of the constraint. Additionally, revise the budget highlights as necessary based on your project requirements. Change the text color to aqua in custom colors to differentiate it from the other text. Adjust the icons within each constraint to ensure a perfect fit. You can highlight key points with different colors to ensure they stand out during the presentation. Select the icon of the budget constraint. Right-click. And choose Change Picture. Then, navigate to the file path and select the appropriate icon that best represents budget. Now follow the same steps to change the titles of the remaining two constraints to Timeline and Quality, respectively, along with the letters T and Q. Additionally, modify the subtitles and descriptions for these two constraints as needed. Ensure icon update and change the subtitle and text color according to theme of each constraint. You can revise the project constraints and descriptions according to your specific project requirements. In the final step, access the Insert tab. Select SmartArt. And choose the Circle Process graphic. Hit OK. Resize the graphic to position it in the top right corner of the slide. Duplicate the circle a few more times as needed. Customize the color of each circle and text to dark red, dark teal, purple, 
dark green, and white to correspond with the color palette utilized in the slide. Refine the title slightly to give it a more polished and engaging appearance, ensuring it fits best. Let's experience the animation in full screen mode. That is how you master the art of presenting like a pro. Thank you for watching the tutorial. If you found the tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more such content. Your support is greatly appreciated as I strive to deliver engaging and efficient videos that respect your time. See you in next tutorial. Happy presenting!